Hello and a warm welcome on behalf of the Ashtanga Institute of Yoga and Naturopathy, Eroli, myself Kanchan and today we'll be focusing on the asanas to be performed in second trimester with the help of the chair. So in second trimester, a pregnant lady may face many of the health challenges such as vaginal bleeding, amniotic fluid leakage, chest pain, muscle pain, PDP, pelvic girdle pain, decreased fetal movement and many such health issues. So it's quite important to consult a gynecologist before performing certain yoga practices. While sitting on the chair, make sure you're quite relaxed. If you uh, are feeling uncomfortable, you can place a pillow behind your chair and suppose if your feet are not reaching till your mat, you can grab a block or you can take anything. You can place a pillow or a cushion under your feet and sit comfortably. Okay, just relax. Now, join your palms in front of your chest. Gently close your eyes. Now, we'll be chanting Gayatri Mantra. Gently rub your palms against each other to stimulate those acupressure points in your palms to make your palms warm, make them warmer. Now make a cup of your palms, place it on your face. Gently open your eyes, place your right palm on your abdomen and your left palm on your chest. A sweet pleasurable smile on your face as you're passing on your positive energy towards your baby. Now we'll be chanting three omkaras. So deep inhale and say enlonged om. Inhale. calm and pass on your positive energy towards your baby in your womb. Just deep inhale and exhale. Focus on your breath. Continue with your deep breathing. Feel the calmness of your mind. Feel that peace. Now, gently open your eyes. Now you're prepared for further yoga asanas. So just remove your palms and let's get to our first asana, which we are going to perform with the help of the chair. So our first asana for today is Utkatasana. So Please place a chair in front and you come and uh, come and stand behind your chair. Make sure you are standing on your mat. Make a slight distance between your feet as per your convenience. Okay, it, uh, it might be your hip level or you can make it more than your hip level as per your convenience. Now place your palms at the top of your back wrist. Okay, now inhale. 
exhale slightly push your hips behind and bend your knees and go down inhale up exhale down do it very carefully yes you're doing with the help of the chair so make sure your chair is strong enough okay if you are finding your chair is lighter just place it, place it in some uh, front of the wall okay come on inhale up exhale down so why we have to do utkatasan see while going down your whole pressure is coming on your thighs so we have to you know shift our weight from our back and abdomen towards our thighs so it's quite essential to strengthen our thighs our hips feel the pressure coming in your hips and thighs yes do it very carefully and as per your convenience you can do it for five to ten counts okay as per your convenience and just relax so let's move on towards our second asana that is Nadrajasan. you're standing behind your chair place your left palm at the top of your back rest yes just relax breathe normal now slide slowly shift your weight on your left leg just lift your right leg up behind fold it behind hold the ankle yes now inhale try to push your heel away from your body and try to maintain the balance you can look in front yes focus on your spine focus on your right shoulder right upper arm right upper back yes feel that strength in your spine focus on your lower back it strengthens your hips and thighs you can hold it as per your convenience you can hold it for five breaths and just bring your heel closer release your leg very carefully and just relax now let's do it with our other leg as well so place your right palm at the top of your chair yes now bend your left leg behind hold the ankle very carefully now inhale push your heel slight away from your hip yes and stay steady now your whole weight is on your right leg so focus on your right leg yes now focus on the wide opening of your rib cage on your left side focus on your left shoulder left upper back yes feel the strength in your spine it can be performed in all three trimesters it can be performed in third trimester as well stay here for five breaths now just relax bring your leg closer and gently release your leg and we are done with our Natrajasana so our third asana is Ardha Chandrasana that is half moon posture so you can place your chair right in front okay on your other side now place your left palm on your block now lift your right leg up place it on the chair now tilt your body towards your left and lift your right hand up okay it is a very good hip opening yes stay here for a few breaths now gently relax and come down first bring your hands down come in front and take your right leg very gently let's do it on other side so take your block on your right side yes place your right palm very carefully on the mat or on the block shift your weight on your right side place your left leg very carefully on your chair yes tilt towards your right lift your left hand up and stay here it should be avoided if you are having a pelvic girdle pain okay otherwise you can do it just focus on the targeted areas 
Feel the strength in your spine. Focus on your hips. Yes. Stay here for five breaths. And gently come in the center. Bring your hand down. Very carefully take your leg down and it's done. Now let's move on towards our other asana that is Virabhadrasana 3. Now for this also we'll need two chairs. Okay. Now what are we going to do? Very carefully, be, please be careful with your movements. Okay. Now place both the palms at the top of your back wrist. Make sure you're, uh, you're placing your chair in front of the wall. Okay. So that it should not, uh, it should not slide forward. Okay. Now gently raise your right leg. Be careful. Carefully place it at the top of your back wrist of other chair and just bend forward and stay here. You can look down and breathe normal. It's a very good hip opener. Avoid it if you are, if you are having pleasant previa. Yes, it strengthens your arms, your spine. It assures the enlongment of your spine. It assures the blood, blood circulation towards your womb. Yes, it's a very good hip opener and strengthens your thighs as well. Focus on your left thigh. Now gently, you can hold the top of your chair and bring your leg down and just relax. Stay here for two normal breathing. Now let's do it with other leg again. Just raise your left leg. Be careful. Watch your chair and place your left leg on the chair. Now gently bend forward and look down straight. Feel that strength in your spines. Feel that strength in your arms. It is good for your quadricept muscles. Focus on your right thigh. It's a very good hip opener. Feel it. Be careful by performing this asanas. Just stay here for a few breaths. Normally five breaths. And hold the chair with your palms. Gently bring your left leg down. Just relax your for two normal breathing and we are done. So our last asana for today's session is Uttita Trikurnasana. Okay, for this we'll need a block again. So make a distance between your feet. Yes, it should be more than your hip level. Okay, now inhale, lift both the hands parallel to your mat. Take your left foot out. Okay. Now inhale, exhale, take your left hand towards your left and place it on your block and raise your right hand up and stay here. It is a very good hip opener. Feel that stretch coming in your rib cage on your right side. Yes. If you feel that you could bend more, you can simply place down your block and then bend, go more down towards your left. It improves the flexibility of your spine, release the tension out of your back muscles, strengthens your thighs. Stay here for a few breaths as per your convenience. Now gently inhale. Come in front, exhale, bring your hands down, take your left foot in. You can shift your block towards your right. Yes, place it as per your convenience. If you feel that you cannot go much down, you can place it vertical or you can place it horizontal. Yes, now again, inhale, lift both the hands up parallel to your mat. Take your right foot out this time, deep inhale. 
Exhale, bend towards your right and place your palm on your block and take your left hand upwards and look in front. Just stay here. Focus on your groin area, focus on your pelvic floor, focus on the tension releasing out of your back muscles from your left side. Stay here. Breathe normal for five normal breathings. Stay here. Now gently inhale. Come in the center. Exhale. Bring your hands down. Take your right foot in. Now if you want to reduce the distance between your feet, do not just lift your leg and bring it in the center. You can just bring your heels in. Toes in, heels in, toes in, heels in, toes in and just relax and we are done.